Now take a look at some of the detail you get with this locomotive. Get a little closer here. We got the road name, road number. There you go. To get door, you got two grab irons, got a ladder, got an F for forward. American flag there. Got the New Jersey logo there on the side of the locomotive. Then you got fuel tank detail here. And you also have a rear, well, side rear door, Bombardier, another compartment. Check the rear. Got the number, door, a rear light. And you also got marker lights there on the bottom, a little step. And you got your jumper cable connections there on the bottoms here with the purple. On the other side, the same thing here. But looking on top of the locomotive, here you got your pentagram. That comes up. So it should run something like this here. If you have a pentagram on your look on your model railroad, should say. It's pretty cool. Detail for that there. And you got different fans here. Let's see that there. Now we're gonna take a look at the front. Now, the front of this locomotive, you have to install the grab branch itself, but uh, I kind of manhandled a couple of them, so some one did get broken. I didn't put the couple here, but it's all included in the packaging. Looking through the front, you got an engineering conductor seat there, windshield wipers, you got a marker, sorry, dish lights and marker lights here, and you got details here on the bottom. Let's take a look at the trucks. You can see that there. A lot of detail there. Also on the bottom of the locomotive. The cab car that we have a lot of detail. You have a horn. You got your marker lights here. You got your headlights. You got your muscle wipers. You got the window with a gasket on both windows. Then you have the Jersey Transit logo here with the colors. And coming down, you have your dish lights. Uh, the door detail looks pretty good. You can see they got a little door handle there. The numbers are nice and they're crisp. And you're coming down, you have metal couplers that come with the car. But I did cut the uh, pin off on the bottom. Um, come with a plow. You got your receptacles here on your locomotive. And you got a lot of good detail here on this uh, cab car. It looks uh, pretty good. Detail here, got the window with a label on the window itself. Got window gaskets here and here. Actually, throughout the whole entire car. Uh, molding in detail, a lot of warning labels there on the car. Everything that need to be legible is. So they got the Pennsylvania, like that Keystone. And also you got various labels all along the car. Wheelchair accessible, so that's uh, pretty cool there. And you just got a lot of overall detail that's molded into the body. This car looks uh, pretty good, and you know, in my opinion. Now look at the top of this car. Now a little finagling, you can get this uh, shell here off the uh, body, set that to the side, and you can see you got the light tubes here. You got a seat there for your engineer, Just swinging around. Now you can see how it's all set up here with the lights on the top and the bottom with the light board. And there's little holes in the body, you can place a speaker there that can the sound will come out the uh, under the body. And roll around here and another side here, just a doorway. So a lot can be put into this. You want to add some more uh, weight in this car. Just stick it here and here or back there. Now, also, this one is supposed to have a, a, a toilet in it. So you can swing around this way. And you can see you got a toilet detail. Toilet and oh, there you go. You got a toilet and you got a sink detail here on this uh, car. Let me see it on the other side. No, just that side that has the toilet detail. You're going to place a 21 pin decoder on the bottom of this light board to control the light features. That's when you get a cab car. APL 45 DP locomotive. This is the 4507. So I'm just going to start off here. Pushing number 8, and it's the ESU uh, sound decoder.
Here's the bell. Horn. Now, when you first start on it, it automatically goes into the diesel. We're going to switch it to the electric. Hit F4. Now I'm in electrical mode here. So let's uh, move forward.
It's some of the lighting features here that this locomotive come with. And switch directions, you see that we have a headlight come on and we got the dish lights and put in reverse. Got a rear marker light that come on this uh, locomotive. So let's get out of here. <laughs> 